What's up? It's your boy Carcino here. And I'm not here to make this video real long. I'm going to make it really short. Um, I did see the reports. People woke me up out of my sleep. I'm trying to take a little nap here about Gennady Golovkin and Bernard Hopkins. They're like, dude, you got to do something on that. And I'm like, what? Like, is this real? I mean, it's HBO. What you expect? <laughs> They just did a, two films about a 70-year-old guy back in the ring. <laughs> I'm like, how many times they want Sylvester Stallone back in there? If you about old and about to die, they got Robert De Niro fighting Sylvester Stallone in the damn ring on HBO. You know, that's what they that's what they sell you at HBO. They sell you BS. And they sell you names. They just like, throw a name in there. <clears throat> Yeah, they like, throw a name. Oof. Throw it in there. And Lampley just go to work. You're going to see Foreman come back, fight somebody on HBO. Mmm, I'm going to whoop him good. <laughs> and I'm going to chew this juicy hamburger that I made on my grill. Like, Can George Foreman turn back the times? <laughs> he did it once when everyone doubted him. <laughs> What do you think, Roy? Well, what I think is that the man could do whatever he want to do. He's a grown man. He could. He know when it's time to hang it up. Can't nobody tell him if you've been in the ring. You ain't been in that ring. You can't tell him what time to hang up the glove. <laughs> so people will support it because they'll buy the name. Foreman's fighting. Wow, he's back. And people are like, did somebody remember George is 80? And here it is. It'd be Frank Bruno or somebody. He fighting in the ring. But Bernard needs no money whatsoever. He got money. Bernard just, you know, Bernard. He's going to do whatever he can do to keep making some extra ends. And going in there to fight Gennady Golovkin, you know him. He's going to hold. and it's, it's like, why? And you Golovkin's manager, this fight makes no sense. It makes you out to be a hypocrite if you Golovkin's manager. Because you wouldn't fight Andre Ward at 168 or a catch weight at 165, but you would come up to 168 to fight Bernard Hopkins? If this if this has any legitimacy whatsoever, doesn't surprise me. It does make it like more ridiculous that they would even put on such an event. And for the people that out there that try to contact me through Facebook, I say it a thousand times, you are better reaching me at Twitter. At Carcino. That's it. Facebook, I might never even see it. So many people go on there and just keep putting messages in there. Bloom, 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 bloom. And I'm like, I might not even read those. I'm so busy doing other stuff, but the Twitter is the stuff I get to see. Because it pops up there and it gets right to the point. You got 140 characters, <laughs> whatever, to get anything you got to say. I don't have the time. Not that I'm just... Like I'm um, it's a hierarchy, uh, too good to answer you. Just really busy. <laughs> and I don't have time. I can't just sit back and go back and forth all day. I got stuff to do. But if you want to better get in contact with me, go through that channel, like Twitter. That's the best way to do it. So other than that, I'm out. <laughs>